Carolyn with Hollywood First Look. And today I'm chatting with Elaine Wee, Mikkel Shannon Jenkins, Ron Ewan, and writer-director Bao Tran to talk about their latest film, The Paper Tigers. Let's take a first look. Dad. Yeah, buddy. Do you know any kung fu? I'm retired. Who's the old guy? That was our teacher. We called him Sifu. You didn't hear? Safe was dead. Something's not right. There was no heart attack. Do you think the poison fingers is real? Yeah, Gao Sao. Why you don't Ching Shao? Okay, just say it in English. Just, just say it in English, man. When the hands cross, all will be revealed. Did you hear me? No, it's just a glance. Just a glance, man. It's fine. It's you fine. got this. You got this. It's fine. <laughs> I loved this movie. It's currently 100% certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, well-deserved. Yes! Well, you wrote such a brilliant script. There was heart, there was action, there was suspense. There was a lot of humor as well. And I would love to know how much of that humor that we actually see on the screen was actually you what you wrote on the page or was did you allow you guys to improv a little well definitely allowed the actors to improv because at the end of the day you kind of give them uh as much room and space as as the guys mentioned uh to run with it because ultimately it comes to a point where it's their character and they know how they feel about each other and they're going to say things that you know as a writer you're never going to be able to kind of get at completely uh, so I think I, I'd like to think I kind of gave them the platform and they, they were able to fly off of that. And definitely they came at me every day with some ideas, <laughs> many ideas. <laughs> and uh, we have a lot of alt takes and a lot of different options. You know, uh, like I said, it was a, it's an embarrassment of riches uh, during editing uh, to be able to choose and, pit and then find all the right balances. But they gave us all the things that we needed and it was all there. You guys actually premiered this on the film festival circuit. I would love to know, and we'll start with you, Elaine, what was it like getting that audience feedback? You know, the response that we got through the virtual film festivals was, you know, gratifying. I mean, it, it really was a testament to a lot of the work that everybody put together to make this film happen. Um, you know, I, and I could feel, I could feel, you know, the producers just kind of like, there's a, there's a moment of validation there that everything that they fought for, that everything that they, you know, uh, we're, we're willing to die on the hill for, you know, was real, that this this is this is the moment. And and for our film and, and Bao's film to, to be picked up by WellGo and, and to be able to be, um, you know, broadcast and, and, and in theaters and, and to be streamed for public consumption is, is amazing. So I'm personally excited to finally, if we can all get uh, our act together, but like to be able to experience this with, with a crowd is, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the, the possibility of it. Ron, you know, I've seen you do martial arts and, and your other work. I would love to know, is it more difficult trying to do these scenes with, you know, a, an impairment? Um, the impairment and uh, being fat. <laughs> <laughs> because we, no, know no. What you, we know what physically you really can perform. But you know, this was a little outside the norm. No, no, it was. It was different for me. It was like exciting and depressing, and <laughs> because you know, with 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 Bow's prompting, you know, I was trying to gain as much weight as I could, so gained about sixty eight pounds. And and for me, um, having that weight, it just slows everything down. I think I said earlier, I naturally started having a limp because Hang has a limp from his backstory as far as his accident. But for me, it's it was. Uh, it was depressing, but it worked. So like, so for me, you know, just doing the fight scenes and being able, I mean, I really like, I felt the weight. So what you're saying is just like, oh, oh, oh God, no, he's like, you're saying, oh, he's doing a good job. No, no, I was, I was really me. <laughs> <laughs> Mikkel, I would love to know in regards to Jim, he has heart and I would love to know how you really connected with him. I'm going to give that to the two brothers and, and Val. Uh, you can't, um, I was worried about that at first um, because I um, wasn't sure. There's nothing that drives me more mad than fake feelings. 
And uh, to Bao's credit, he created this kind of world. This, we, we were in a bubble before everybody else was in a bubble. The bubble he created was like warm and and loving. And then I meet these two. This just worked their asses off. Like we we spent every single second together. And about about three days into it, I really started caring deeply about what happened with these guys. Deeply. So by the time we got to the rooftop. I was already depressed because it was ending. I'm like, oh God, it's like my best friends. I'm gonna have to say goodbye. My dad was military, so I know how dramatic that is. But and it sort of allowed me to be in this moment with someone I truly love and like um, champion. That heart that's on the screen is the heart that 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 these guys uh, helped like just um, create. I just trusted it and let it be. I mean, I didn't, I didn't need to do anything but let it, let it just be. So that was really a gift, a gift. I remember when Mikkel said to both Elaine and I, just like, man, I, you know, because we all work with, you know, a whole actors and very selfish actors, you know, and during our career. So, so for him to say to us, like, you guys are so giving and all that stuff. I mean, but that was the whole show. Everyone was giving. Everyone was passionate. I mean, Elaine and Mikkel were so giving. You know, and that's why it was so easy to become true brothers, you know, so, so, and Bao was such a giving director and, and the producers and the crew, you just felt the passion. It just flowed like crazy. Well, congratulations, you guys, this movie, I, I am so excited for the world to see this because it is a wonderful piece of cinema. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. you. Thank you so much. The Paper Tigers is in theaters and streaming on demand on May 7th. This is Carolyn, and I'll see you next time. Okay, look, Sifu could have set anyone off. Whoa. Time catches up to some people, like you, the great three tigers. We all swore together that we would defend the weak. Out there is a very, very bad man. Where can we find this guy? Okay, go, 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 go. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, hold on, hold on. What are you doing a three-point turn? Just you it, you it. Three tigers back again. Does everything have to be a fight with you? We might be a disgrace. The Sifu had only three disciples. I swear to be loyal to my brothers. The very day I die. If you guys looking for, uh, you know, for the tiger, I take karate. Let me know.